had resumed sitting of the case filed by the federal government against Namde Kano. Heavy security was present at the Sheo Shagari Way and Agbogo Legema Street in Abuja, where the court is located. Journalists were screened into the court premises and only five were allowed into the courtroom. Mr. Kano was brought into the courtroom around 9.52 a.m. and immediately confronted the security operatives. I'm asking you, who is stopping them from coming in? I have a right. Over the refusal to allow some members of his legal team, especially his lawyer from the United States of America, Bruce Finn, to enter the courtroom. Our books and law reports, our bags are inside the court right here, and the courts are where we are outside the court door. Mr. Kano noted that Mr. Finn, who is handling a case for him in the U.S., was around to witness his trial. Asked by the judge if he was ready to conduct the proceedings himself in the absence of his counsel, Mr. Kano replied in the negative. In a short ruling, though Justice Inyanko expressed her displeasure over the conduct of Mr. Kano's lawyers, she declined to dismiss the pending application. She subsequently adjourned the case. He was a father of four and until the 31st of October 2021, he was also the head of the electrical engineering unit of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. At his residence, his family is still playing host to sympathizers. Now surrounded by family and friends, his widow still hasn't come to terms with the fact that their breadwinner is no more. She said Sunday the 31st of October started off well for the family, not until later in the day when she couldn't reach her husband. So if he went like that, he used to come back around the evening times, around like 10.30 p.m. So I call his number, he's not going. I call the senior brother, that I'm calling his number, he's not going. The brother said, okay, let us watch TD following day and see what is going on. Then on getting there, she identified the helocks with her husband, no way in sight. By Thursday, a phone call confirmed her greatest fear. On Thursday, they found him dead at Kana's side. I was, wow, what is happening that they stabbed him? Whoever that did this thing to him, he will face the judgment of the gods. They opened the window, the doors for others to be packing their loaders, finishers. Leaving us who are legitimate owner of the forest, allotees of the forest, not to work, and allowing others who are illegal occupants of that place, who strip them with grand style to take up our job. They finished already foil wood, and he asked them to come to evacuate that planks. Governor, to this state, right from 1976. This type of attitude has never been happened in this state. We all know that one. If you close to them now, you give the main reason of closure, the closure of the bush. But this time around, not. You mean naturally you took the decision, but by just be looking that, well, very soon they will open, very soon they will open. We are in the forest. When they hear about closure, and we are law abiding citizens, we have to abandon the bush and come. So all those uh, trucks now, they are being vandalized. Even the storm is going around now. You see that bush have overtaken all these homes. So, and uh, these hoodlums, they are badalizable disorders because there is no business activity.